Alright. Here we go. Uh, back in the game again. This is my little collection of stereo equipment and mini disc recorders. Tascan, of course. My original Sony, the 9, what's that thing? 930. Good units. Other ones right there. The CD, the mini disc, and the CD to CD. And denim stuff. And I got me another turntable, which I didn't have last time. Which is pretty decent. It was free because it was, it was my brother. And his wife had it. And he was about to throw this unit away. Ridiculous. Look at that. That's like, you used to buy it at the day, that's like three three grand. Um, still got my dinner receiver. And Aircon amp. I got two of those suckers, but I tried to hook both of them up. The uh, uh, mono it didn't work too great. Um, it's old school Pioneer. The F, what, the F1000. The mixer. Not mixer. Four track recorder, and I got some portable ones I didn't show you last time. Go over here. That's my little portable ones. Got the old one right here. That's just a player, real old. And I got, and I got the smaller one that came about. It's got smaller, but does what this does. This was like my first recorder back in the day. That thing was a lot of money, 300 bucks just for that. And I got this at the thrift store for, for $13. <laughs> Nobody knew what it was, I did. My, the shop I really like. That's real nice, they record live. Real good live music. Real cool. And these two LP units, I got at a, a thrift store too. Pay about 50 bucks. It was not a drift store, it's like a palm shop, but I got these two for 50 bucks and they work great. This one right here, the sport model, it's alright, but sometimes like it's complicated and got this little toggle switch on top, makes shit complicated. And I bought the blue one, the little LP unit. That works great, I like that a lot. And I got this brick right here, this thing heavy. You put somebody in the van here with this. It's got a TV and weather FM radio just a minute Oop, let me do that um, here's a thin one this is just a player it was an LP player then I got the high indie player which is really good I mean it works nice then I got the uh, what this thing is right here this this the same way it's got TV and weather but the high MD it's a real nice unit right there and um got the rugged one that's a heavy duty bad boy that works great then I got the one going to the high dollar which is limited a little bit but it works great I love that and I bought these right here they got the uh, what's called LED light lighting on it yes. which which pretty good I got two of them I bought the last model that Sony made. I think this is the last model Sony makes. Dumbasses. Really sweet unit. I had two of them. I gave away one because I did a lot of work around my house to keep my stuff afloat. Oh, alright. Wait for the portable ones. Now I'll tell you what not to buy. Do you see it on eBay? It's a piece of garbage. These bad boys right over here. Uh, JE 480s. Sony probably just made these just to say that's it, y'all. It's they're a piece of garbage. They junk. They no good. I bought them brand new, and both of them quit on me. So you know, anybody might want them, they can have them. Cause I'm tired sitting right there collecting dust. Don't need them. And then I go to my other room. Oh yeah, check this out. I ain't changed too much, but. I think I got enough to hold me for a while to record, you know, a good while. And all my things I had done over time, all the ones I recorded, and I got all my blanks right up there. 
got all the blanks right there, and then more recordings. And on top, it's all good. And then go in my other room. I got another unit, my second stereo system. Pioneer table, nice table. I like that table. That table about 20 years old. And I got my mini disc right here, JB. No, it's JE630. That's a pretty good unit. Been around a while. Bought a test scan, a 350 model. I saved my money up to get that because I wanted it real bad. Had comp 3 amps. Sony CD recorders. Uh, Denim deck. Uh, Pioneer deck. Yamaha receiver. And a JVC. Right there, the JVC cassette player. I got that for like $18. And that thing back in the day was 500 bucks. It works great. And an uh, old five just change the harmony card. And um, that's how I roll. Oh yeah, I gotta make some recordings. Still got some recordings to do. I got, I'm gonna try to take all these albums and transfer them to the mini disc. Well, I started, but damn, it's hard to get motivated to do that. And I got more projects than that I'm working on. Alright guys. That's all I gotta show you. And these racks, I had to, like I said, I had to make them custom. I custom make my racks because I can't find the right rack to hold all my equipment. You know, I'll hook you up. Oh, 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 and this, somebody asked about this rack in here. This is the same way I built all this rack right here to hold these components. Pretty simple to make, but keep it real, y'all. Appreciate y'all checking it out. Later.